Howdy diddly dandy there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys, in the Viewerverse, I've got a No Man's Sky video for you. So I've been hit on up by people in the Viewerverse that have said, Captain Steve, you've been playing No Man's Sky for such a long time. What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? How do you keep yourself entertained? Well, as you know, I'm a bit of jack of all trades inside of No Man's Sky, yet you've got people that do specialise in things. It's like Professor Cynical. He looks for glitches and bugs and wittiness, which is going to keep him occupied. You've got Ricey, Starship Emporium, that focuses mainly on doing ship hunting and things like that in the verse. You've got base builders that do nothing really but just build bases. So if you like any of those, you can hone your skills in that area. But if you are a jack of all trades, like moi, this video is for you, so stay tuned, heck yes. So to, just to show where I spend a lot of my time, it's in normal mode. Yeah, normal mode, over a thousand hours. I have done permadeath, but that was just to get the freaking trophy, because I'm a completionist. So if you haven't got all the trophies, maybe hit up perma and get all the way to the end of the game in perma. Get yourself that trophy, people. Yeah, survival gets you one trophy, but perma gets you the survival one plus the one other. So just do it in perma would be my advice. But yeah, then I spend a lot of time in creative, and I use creative mode mainly for making bases. So that's me in a nutshell. Right, some new things to do. We have just been given a shed load of new freight parts, people out there inside the view of us. And we've also got these biological frigates. Now, if you're like me, I've done away with some of my frigates and then got some of the biological frigates. And I've still got a frigate here that I need to upgrade. Yeah, I got one extra frigate and I didn't bother getting a, an organic one because it just takes too much pulsing. So yeah, I grabbed one of these little trade vehicles. But anyway, what you could do is get all of your, your actual frigates up to an S class. Already got your frigates to an S-Class, have they? Well, we have got all these new freighter parts. Maybe do a rehash of your freighter build. Rebuild it all out again. Make it look super spanky. Yeah, if you haven't already, build a man cave. I display all of my decals here from all the expeditions I've run, heck yes. And yes, there is still an expedition that you can run right now. We've got five days remaining. You can do it in five days. You could probably do it in five hours if you're super cool and super awesome. Yes, you could. So yeah, you could always hit on up the expedition. Already done that? You could go and get all these trophies. You could go get all these trophies from the trophy planets, as people call them. The exotic type of weird alien biomes. Go grab those. Yeah, make a man cave. Just putting it out there, women can have man caves as well. Yes, they can. Yes, lady caves. I don't know whether they call them that though. Or do up your multi-tools. I've got one that's an all-round multi-tool there that I use for just for doing whatever. It's my day-to-day. -day. I've got this one here. It's renamed itself. Damn it! Back to what it was before. But this has got my incinerator in. I use this one for clearing out derelict freighters because I do like the flamethrower on all the slimy type little gits and also slime on doors and things. Great! The incinerator for clearing out derelict freighters. I really think in Desolation they missed a trick. They should have put out the incinerator with it because it's very alien-esque, isn't it? You know, every single movie Aliens has got a freaking flamethrower in it and we've got aliens on a derelict freighter. Yes, incinerator Hello Games. They're back in. Heck yes. Anyhow, I've got a, I've got a third multi-tool. In fact, I've got all my multi-tools filled, but have I done them all up? You shall see. So this one is called my Tool of Murdication. And this is just for killing, basically. It's got the Animus Beam in it. Now, if you don't know, the Animus Beam has got a bit of a bug with it. If you've got a multi-tool in hand with the Animus Beam, when you pick plants or something inside of your freighter or a farm or whatever, you're not going to get so many resources. It's a bit janky. It's a bit broken. So I only keep the Animus Beam in one, in one multi-tool, and that's the Tool of Murdication because hopefully one day that fragmented quality might actually do something. Oh, this one's renamed itself again. So this is my sentinel killing multi-tool. So if I do have to go around killing sentinels, this one's got that um, pulse grenade in it that makes them go all fritzy. And it's also got the pulse splitter, which sets them on freaking fire. It melts sentinels. I call this one sentinel melter. Yes, and I also got it from a sentinel pillar. So I think that makes rhyme and reason when it comes to the naming and sense of this multi-tool. So that's... That's my sentinel killing multi-tool, and I'm hoping we get more sentinel enemies. I mean, we've got corrupted sentin sentinels into the verse, but it's only the drones. Why not have sentinel, uh, corrupted sentinel dogs and walkers? How epic would that be, people, in the view of us? Heck, yes, it would. 
Okay, and then I've got two little experimental pistol multi tools. This one I've called Mission Running, which I'm just going to have it. So it hasn't got any scanners in, it hasn't got the terrain manipulator. Oh, it might have the terrain manipulator in. I'll have to give that a think. And the other one is Scanner and Harvesting. So this is more about mining, scanning stuff, and getting points and things like that. Planet sidey type stuff, really. So yeah, I've got to do those two multi tools up. So I've still got two multi tools that I need to tweak. Right, oh, so what else have I got to do? I've got my catalogue that I need to finish off, people. I've almost done all, all of my cookery pages. All the rest of my catalogue is pretty much complete. But the cookery, I've got two pages where I've still got some blanks. So I need to go and do all of that because, like I say, I'm a completionist. If you're a completionist, you haven't done your catalogue, you're not complete. Maybe hammer that one out, you know? Heck yes, I've got a, I've got a cookery playlist. I've put the playlist in the top right-hand corner. If that takes your fancy making fancy cakes. Frickin' heck yes, nosh. So just like you, I've got an array of ships. And yes, I keep ditching ships and getting different ships. So some of my ships I haven't quite actually decked out as much as I would want to as yet, people in the viewer verse. So this hauler I have. Now you can see here, inside my hauler I've got a lot of station overrides. As you know, the station overrides do nothing right now. But there's nothing to stop you from getting a load of station overrides. If you don't know how to get station overrides, I put a video in the top right hand corner on how to get station overrides, but it's done in pirate systems by running missions in pirate systems so if you haven't done that that's quite a lot of fun because those missions are different missions so if you haven't done a lot of them that's something you could be doing so I'm just going through a lot of my ships here to show you that a lot of them are s class a lot of them I've got them how I want them to be but that haul is relatively new this Explorer is relatively new and I'm not too sure what to do with the Explorer at the moment the Explorer I might do up the hyperdrive range so it can jump super far but then I'm thinking well I've got other ships that can jump fairly far and my freighter jumps super far anyway so I'm thinking my Explorer is just going to be for shooting planet surfaces and maybe getting a load of resources and things. I haven't really worked out exactly what I want to use it for because that's what I want to use my shuttle for. So at the moment the Explorer hasn't really got rhyme or reason and my exotic ship, I was going to do up the hyperdrive on that because I understand that the hyperdrive on the exotics has probably got more potential than the Explorer. Hit me up and let me know if I'm wrong on that inside of the comments because I'm either going to do the Explorer or the exotic. I mean I can google this stuff but you know if you want to be helpful stick it in the comments that'd be lovely jubbly heck yes so i've got a fair few fighters all my fighters are exactly how i want them to be with with their damage potential and things i mean at the end of the day they're fighters so that's the rhyme or reason for the, behind them so if you haven't already done up your ships what i'm saying is do up your ships go get yourself a load of s class modules i'm working on a video at the moment how to get a load of nanites this late into game sadly you will need sort of like living frigates to send out on missions that might give you a clue on how i'm going to nanites another legit way but yeah that video is on the bake keep an eye out for that with your eye peepers if you haven't already subscribed notification bell all that sort of shenanigans do that get locked in for it heck yes it should be freaking epic so there's my shuttle need some work Okay, well, I might be way behind all of you people out there inside of the Viewerverse, you know. I, I, I make videos, mainly, don't I? I so I'm doing videos daily. Yeah, but if you've done all of this, hopefully there's going to be something new inside of the Quicksilver store that you can work towards. So you can always do a couple of Quicksilver missions. It helps that po progress bar go up, even if it's not needed for you you're helping out the community by running a couple of missions daily as you can see there i've still got all three of mine so i'm talking out my freaking rectum probably because i very rarely run them because i'm bored to death of them but i do do them every, every now and again in fact i would have probably done that raider depot if somebody wasn't already holding it up until next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again well thank you very much for watching if you like what you see please hit a like and a subscribe and i'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on patreon and over on youtube membership thanking you backers and if you want to support this channel just don't skip the adverts that throws revenue down my avenue or yeah just stay with captain steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen there's merch here now too